Most of us who visited Centerville Airport in the past now get their sense of desolation confirmed. For the last 10 years it's been dead. And so we've uh, hired an airport manager. We've uh, gotten grants to get a tractor and a mower to uh, spruce up the grounds, which we started on last, last year. Uh, we now have a grant and have installed a uh, self-service uh, terminal at the, at the fuel tank so people can come in 24-7. And we just recently uh, got a grant to build a 10-bay 10, 10 uh, T-hanger. Those bids have been opened and next week, Tuesday, the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, hopefully, I'm sure they will, approve the uh, low bidder and we'll begin construction. Reason to celebrate and a farewell to the past. The sky is the limit and this new management. We have a motto here at Center, we'll call, we call it America's most friendly airport. So, and we try to live up to it. With this attitude and the help of the mayor, pilots with modern and vintage planes will benefit. It's a 1956 model Beechcraft Bonanza. It'll fly about 145 knots, holds four people, so you can go somewhere pretty quick. I guess this car belongs to the same era. Every pilot has to fly so many hours, they have to have so many stops, so many takeoffs, so many landings and all to keep your license up. So we get a lot of just what you call touch and goes where they just come down, hit the runway and go on back up. A free service to enable the pilot to keep his license current. We try to keep our fuel prices uh, reasonably low and just make enough to uh, cover our overhead. And, uh, Right now we're looking for someone to come in and uh, rent the main hangar and possibly set up an A&P shop and, and uh, hopefully we find somebody who'd like to do some uh, flight training and teach some of the uh, younger folks around here how to fly. They call the fly-ins a hundred dollar hamburger because like I say, uh, so many, you have to fly so much to get so many hours in and the pilot load up in Franklin fly over every time you pay four dollar and a half for gas and uh, buy you a $5 hamburger, you spend $100 pretty quick. So, but they, got, they have to do it, and it's a fun thing, kind of like going fishing if you're a fisherman. You know, it's just what they love to do. And that just about counts for every hobby. When economic conditions are good, flyers don't have to prioritize their expenses that much. Most of the aircraft come in here are pleasure, private-owned aircraft. Uh, yes, economic conditions do affect it. All our hangars are full. We have 10 new hangars coming. Uh, should be breaking ground within the next two or three weeks. So they should be available by Labor Day. And we go to hold the price way down. We'll, we'll try to be competitive, yet we're going to be cheaper than anybody else. Just to tie down outside, if you just go be overnight, you're just more than welcome to tie it down. And if you go be here a month, something we usually charge about $25, $30. But now in the hangars we have right now, the older hangars, the rent is $100. The new hangars are going to be we're kind of debating. We're still waiting on all the bids to come in on the, on the projects. So, but somewhere around $150, $125 for the new hangar. And they're going to be the ultra modern with the bifold doors. They're bigger and just a whole lot nicer. Now in here, in the big hangar, uh, rent run around $60, $65, $70. Depends on the plane. Because uh, you can put more in here. But we do have this available for mechanic too. To, mm -hmm. We're trying to rent it out now. Probably get in touch. Thank you, Woody. I am out of here. And I wish you lots of luck and support with this new adventure.